That's Harold Pike Keller. Right in the middle, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you see the bandoliers mm -hmm. from right shoulder to left hip. He was the only one who was wearing bandoliers like that. It was back in 2008 that Brent Westermeyer says he first started looking at other pictures the day this iconic photo from Iwo Jima was taken. He found inconsistencies that immediately raised questions. Noticing that the Marine in the number two position was a, was a larger man, and Randy Gagnon was not a larger man. Very, very slight in his shoulders, and his chest, and his waist. Leading Westermeyer to form his own conclusion. I started looking at all the Marines, and the one that made most sense to me from a visual standpoint was Harold Pike Keller from Brooklyn, Iowa. For Westermeyer, that was the easy part. Telling us comparing picture after picture made it obvious. Harold Keller, who he says went by the nickname Pie, was holding the American flag as it was planted over Iwo Jima. So in 2016, he took his theory and evidence to the Marines. They agreed and they convened a board. Confirming Westermeyer's contention and officially recognizing Harold Keller as one of the flag holders in this photo. Keller did mention his place in history to his wife and it was printed in a company newsletter. Keller passed away in 1979. He never told his children. And if you turn and look at the back side, this is dad. How amazing is that? Westermeyer says his effort was not about changing history. And ultimately, every Marine on Iwo Jima during World War II already has a place in history that will stand the test of time. It's very important from a historical standpoint to actually identify who was on the six. They represent what happened uh, for those 36 days, I believe, um, on Iwo Jima.